Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to thank you, first of all, for coming today. I know the weather's not particularly good, but thank you very much for that. And thank you to Brony for inviting us. Um, can I just apologise, uh, Drew Ferris, who be our chief archivist, and uh, unfortunately he's not here today, so uh, I'm quite happy to take questions, but any difficult ones, please pop them onto a postcard, give them to me, and I'll pass them on to Drew. So uh, I'll just uh, march on into the, uh, the, the slideshow. So just the format of the, the chat is just a brief introduction as we've done. I want to give a brief history of the Ordnance Survey just today and also just in the past. Um, an overview of the archive and the mapping products portfolio obviously is what you're here to, to listen to. And just the, the location of all the historical paper mapping, not only in Ordnance Survey today, but also just where it is throughout Northern Ireland and the different locations of that. Uh, Chris then is going to take over and do some practical examples of just how we use maps on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis within Colby House. And I break back in again and I want to just give some information on the pointer address data set and the townlands that we use within that. And finally, um, just access to historical mapping in the digital age and how we're using the historical maps that you see in the paper and putting that on to the digital era and sort of making it more accessible to the likes of yourselves. Uh, where we sit today, um, we're now obviously within land and property services, so we were ordinance survey up to 2008. Um, we're now within the Directorate of uh, Mapping and Valuation Directorate. Within that we have uh, property valuation and ourselves for geographic information and mapping. Um, the other directorates which now make up the land and property services today is land registration, the property rating, and obviously ourselves, and within that we set an archive within the geographic information and mapping section. Uh, and as you can see just on the, on the map there, we provide our data currently mainly through Colby House and people coming into the map shop and obviously making an appointment and coming in to look at the old maps. We're trying to push that out more onto the website um, through Spatial AI, as I'll talk about later, and also the Osney map shop, which we currently have and that's where you can just purchase maps, but not everybody just knows what they want and generally people do book and come in to see us just to, just to, just to do that. Um, I'm going to delve back just into the history. Um, I don't want to sort of bore you too much, just, but I feel I need to go back to 1824. Um, that was when the first survey of Ireland was authorised by the, by the British Parliament and that was the scale of 6 to 1 inch, I'm sorry, 6 inch to 1 mile as probably you're all familiar with if you're looking at the maps. That was done under Lieutenant Thomas Colby and he was chosen to do the task of the mapping but he also undertook the principle of triangulation of Ireland. I don't want to get into too much of the, the mathematics of it but uh, it's just, it was a precise calculation. It was to calculate the positions of a framework of points upon which all the mapping that you see now would have been based at that time and to compute the triangles that you would see sort of all through here. So they're all networked as you see throughout Ireland. And the idea was you had to come had to compute the length of one leg of a triangle. Um, so if we could measure that, then that was the basis for the survey. Um, in eighteen twenty seven he did that. The measurement was done just on um, Robert Lock Foil, um, McGilligan, and it measured a distance known as the baseline. I think some of the historians here might sort of know what that is and if you've heard of it before. It was really the basis for the mapping and this was completed over sixty days and it took seventy men and the accuracy and you would hear that today that it is very very good and uh, it was done over a distance of 7.89 miles and you can see the towers there at the bottom there's one at Valley Kelly and one up at McGilligan Point and there was four such and they used these here and they were measuring the distances between the two end ones to get the exact measurement of 7.89 miles uh, again I'm just setting the context just for um, just for the for the survey itself uh, I want to throw two points in, into that. Uh, 1825, the new boundary department was established and headed up by Richard Griffiths. So it was tasked with sort of getting the boundaries of parishes and the townlands in Ireland and his staff lay is with Colby and um, the, the surveyors in the field to get the positions of these boundaries and this sort of helped the OS staff to plot the boundaries. Uh, I think that kind of leads in some respects into the valuation 
all the valuation online record you will see today in Prony, and that they're using the townlands as a search method um, within them. 1830, the survey began to reach staff to, um, it's kind of pre place names, but it's to do with the, the geographical names and sort of standardised forms of the names which appear in the maps. And the researcher, and you've probably heard of him as well, was John O'Donovan. And um, I've got a book just at the front, um, after the talk, it's certainly worth having a wee browse through it, and I think they're also online as well. Um, it's just uh, worth just reading through his notes, um, you know, when he went through the whole country, just to, to pick up all that information. That's very, very strong funny bits, isn't it? Uh, in 1833, getting into the Malvin side of it, the, the first of the six inch series maps were produced, and London Derry was the first uh, area to be completed, because they generally went on a north-south. Uh, Trend, that's how they've done the mapping. So, uh, sort of, while that was going on, it was in 1840, and the town's plans maps were then coming into being. So, um, the first one was quite early on in 1840, and that was in Dublin. Um, again, they weren't originally intended for publication, but they were to help the Griffiths failures at that time. Uh, by 1846, the first edition was completed, and that was 1846, and the second edition was actually underway as well. So the revision of the first edition was starting as the first edition ended. Uh, by 1899, I'm moving away from the 6 inch, and we had the 2500, which is the large scale mapping, which you would see sort of here in the paper version. So <coughs> to move on to the large scale map, it was started in 1899, and it sort of went right through to 1913, I believe. Um, I did survey the whole country, and there was a lot of maps produced from that, 19, some 19,000 maps at the 25 inch scale, or it was the 25 inch to be precise. Uh, 1922 came partition, so OSNA was formed out of OSA. We were under the Minister of Agriculture at that time. Uh, post that we had the first uh, one inch edition, which is similar to what our 50,000 discoverer map would be today. So I've copies up there as well just to show you sort of the 1938 version and also the latest version of today for the discoverer. Uh, 1939, the outbreak of war, and really since that period, the revision wasn't good over Northern Ireland, so it kind of fell back. There was revision um, done where it needed to be done in places like Belfast, London, Derry, sort of strategic places again. Uh, to offset that, uh, 1958 saw the introduction of aerial photography, so that kind of, it doesn't displace mapping, but it starts to sort of fill in gaps maybe where the revision wasn't done on on the 6 inch or on the large scale maps. So uh, just to sort of follow up on that, we'll have a, just today we've got continuous revision over the whole country, so we'll fly the whole country on about a three, a three year average, so every three years they get updated maps for the whole country. Sort of an important point, and again, this is for the historical side of it, because I don't want to sort of bog down in that one too much. Uh, we kind of moved from the 6 inch, uh, it was the 6 inch, the way it was done, it was done on a county series map, and so you'll see here we'll have 6 grids, I've shown one here, so we'll have one for each county. So that's how you sort of were to home in on your map, and so again, I just use my example of where I live. Um, Back then, for all the 6 inch edition maps, I have a sheet 22, which is fine. But then, if you want the new Irish grid system, I buy into 184, So, the, the areas are slightly different as well, so you'll not see the same area on, on both maps. But that's just to let you know that there is a there is a difference in the map. And sometimes that's where people could get bogged down slightly, just in, in the new and, and, and the old. Now, the digitization of the large scale of the was a big thing, so moving away um, from all paper mapping, so, and the biggest one was the large scale. So all this was digitized, as you can see, the guys are busy, and it produced a large scale digital format. This is an example just of all the different types of maps <coughs> that have been produced from the digital era. So that's just the whole, the whole Spanish, 10K, 50K, 250, the, uh, the old uh, 6 inch, as you see on the far side, aerial photography and just all the things you can do with that, which Chris will talk about. <coughs> Again, product portfolio is just quite extensive, as you can see, so I'm not sort of going into too much detail there. Oh. <coughs> So 
So, again, from that digitization process, the large scale was all uh, digitized, and from that, we've got um, administrative boundary data sets in digital format now. And again, I just wanted to show you that in all of these, we've got poundlands in the 50,000, the large scale, and also in the pointer address data set. So, there's a thing there, townlands, that is continuing through the model right from back in 1824 right till today. Uh, as part of that whole digitization process was the historical data. Now obviously it's paper data, so it was digitized, it was scanned basically. And again, Chris will take over, it was all georeference. And so again, we can look at that on, on uh, GI systems today and also on the internet. Summary of the historical portfolio, and I'm trying to bring in again just the census devaluation and sort of all the things that are kind of linked into the crony side. Um, six inch to one, uh, six inch to one statute now, county series edition one that I had discussed, uh, 1834. Um, again, that's just following straight through <coughs> the four main editions to see, and that there is the six inch. That has got full coverage of Northern Ireland basically, so that's, that's good to there. As you sort of melt down into these two here, and I can show you that sort of in the paper as well. Not everything was revised. In some counties, there were only two, two to three sheets that were revised for, you know, for the whole county. So, you know, good coverage to here, and then it drops off sort of, and that sort of again, that's taken in. Well, that revision was 1919, and that would have been some of them were published in about 1932. So, it's just I don't know how that would sort of fit in with the, with your cells, but. Following on from that there we have, this year is just the modern version of this year, so that there's the 10,000, and that's the 10,000 Irish code, that was 10,560 in metric, that's 10,000 with the 10,000, and that's done in the sheets that I was showing you earlier, from 1 to 2 to 5, not the county series. Uh, again, town plans, a lot of revisions there, I've got a wee book, just if anybody wants to look through it again, it, there's about 160 towns that were, that were that were done at that time, that was back in the 1860s, 1870s. And all the revisions that were in that were done from them are in that book. So again, that's not digitized and what Chris is that digitized? Is all the traffic digitized for some of it is? So, yeah. so that's an ongoing project. So <coughs> so that's the town plans, 10k, and then the 25 inches of said, which is these here. Uh, we kind of went as well from 1900 we were in the old sort of the six inch, and I think there was a move as well to the metric system at that stage. So, can everybody hear me okay? Is that? <coughs> so, all right, so that, there's the two, I've discussed them there, and then again, the area of photography. So, that there's kind of um, an overview of the, of the map that we have and the photography. Place names, um, we're currently scanning the place names.